got that E. Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at the brand new Jason Isbell Signature Telecaster. Before I tell you about this guitar, take a second to subscribe below. Thank you, that way you'll keep up to date on all this great gear geekery we have for you. So, very excited about this guitar. I am um, a big fan of Jason Isbell. He's an amazing guitar player. And uh, I, I love the fact that they came out with a telly because, let's face it, after he bought that 59 Ed King Les Paul, I kind of thought that might be the only guitar he plays. But <laughs> the Telecaster is, it's really kind of a magic thing. It does something that I think no other guitar does. Uh, and I think, I think the universe loves irony, and that's why Leo Fender, his first thing that he came out with, his first, I mean, first guitar out of the box, was this. And the design over the years has not changed all that much. But what they did here, and what Jason Isbell, you really got to credit him, he, he uh, I think he took kind of the golden age of, of, Tellies. It's got that mid 60s C shaped neck that is really comfortable. Uh, it's got a 7.25 radius, which is you know the the tried and true standard of that time. Uh, love the rosewood fingerboard. Uh, I love the old spaghetti logo that they went with. I love the traditional old school tuners that have that sort of. It's a genius design because it has basically a, lo a lock built in when you put your string in down that hole, you've got a lock. So pretty cutting edge. Leo Fender was really a genius. Um, the uh, body is based basically on the custom that's the double bound body and it's an alder chunk of wood. Uh, and I just love that classic look. Now in the 60s, this would have come with a white pick guard, but he changed it to the black, which I prefer and it's got that binding around it so it's uh, I it's like those old 60s tellies that have been around and they've had some a few mods to them over the years but I love just just the pure aesthetic you can't beat it old school uh, brass rollers right there three of them and the intonation is really tight uh, next we've got his um, his proprietary uh, design pickups. See, Jason Isbell Telecaster pickups. Why don't we start with that? We'll start with the neck, which to me is very, very reminiscent of a of a of a Stratocaster neck. Now, for the record, this is just plugged directly into a Blues Junior, and I've got the treble on eight, bass on nine mids all the way up, uh, master on three, reverb on four-ish, and volume on about five. And I've got the fat switch down because I love that damn thing. So here's the neck. And then this, this telly bridge has all that spank you want. Spanky, man. And 
I get it. I'm doing a lot of country stuff, but man, this pretty much defined that country tone forever. It just works so well. Those bends just cut and it's like a steel. Love it. Okay, in between, well that's, a, that's like the secret weapon. What I really like about this, uh, the controls, it's just that classic three-way switch, master volume, master tone, but the, the volume has all that subtlety and you don't lose that high end. It's almost, it's almost acoustic-ish on that in-between with it rolled down a bit. Now, um, you might notice there's no, like, signature. He, all Jason Isbell did was put this on back, which is, I guess, a tattoo that his wife and he got in New Zealand, and it is sort of an emblem of theirs. But I like that. I like, uh, I like that it's got a kind of a too cool tip of the hat, but it's not too over the board like, this is my guitar, because this will become your guitar. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, the, I think the reason this thing feels so good is that they went with a lacquer finish. And man, lacquer just, to me, feels better. I, I don't like the feel of poly, and I, I, it might be in my head, but I feel like I can hear it. This, I think, lacquer is more open and, and just a little more, I don't know, open sounding. Uh, and it feels great. And the way they did the neck, it feels like it's been played. Now they've relic the whole thing, but it's a subtle relic. In fact, um, I think from, from the audience, you could not tell the difference between this and an old guitar. Uh, and the feel is really close, really feels good back on that neck and, and through the whole body. It just feels like, like an old friend. Um, why don't I just show you, why don't I crank this up a little bit and you can hear a little bit of the dirt on it. Just great, and then if I really give it the gas. Jeez, man, that is, that's as rock and roll as I'd want to get. Like all tellies from the 60s, it has 21 frets. I kind of miss that D up there, but that's where it is. Um, but there are those tall, narrow frets that I think are really comfortable, and I think the intonation is really solid all the way up the neck. And I love the old school knobs like you would find on, on that telly. And I love the fact that they put the patent pending on the, uh, on the bridge. So all very cool. Good on you, Fender. Good on you, Jason Isbell. Love your work. Love your guitar. Keep it up, man. This is John Bolger. Till next time.